Think of how many songbirds it would take to have sustainable extraction of wildlife from the land. It's how our ancestors used to make a living. We used to be hunters and gatherers, and it's still in our bones, I suppose, to go out and capture wildlife to, to dine upon. But we've gotten away from it on the land for a good reason. We sort of did them in. It took us about 10,000 years to do what my heroes and hero here at this conference, Ed Wilson, calls the large, the slow, and the tasty. <laughs> <laughs> we mowed them down. And so we grow most of the, of the calories that we consume. About half of the calories that feed all of the world come from corn, rice, and wheat. And about 100 other plants make up much of the rest. But we still attack the ocean as hunter-gatherers. And we have the, still this belief that it's somehow sustainable, that we can get the numbers right, despite the fact that within the last 50 years, we've seen a collapse of wildlife in the sea. And I don't think of it as seafood. Call it wildlife, because that's what it is. The tunas, the swordfish, the, the grouper, the snapper, the cod, the halibut. What do you like to eat? The wild salmon. Sea bass. Sea bass. Oh, Chilean sea bass. <laughs> Orange roughy. They may be 200 <laughs> years old. And in 20 minutes, you can do in a plate of orange roughy. But they live among corals that may be 2,000 years old. Well, that, that was and what I wanted to, while you scoop up the orange roughy. Talk about now. Here's the thing. If we wanted to catch a squirrel today, we could hire a little plane and fly through Brooklyn dragging a net. And we'd probably catch a couple squirrels, along with some pedestrians and a couple <laughs> bicycles and a few lawsuits. It'd be an absolutely idiotic thing to do. But that's what we're doing in the oceans. The clear we cutters are of the ocean. clear cutting yeah. the ocean. And those corals, we were up there, I was up there with Greenpeace because these trawlers that are going through are dragging the bottom and scraping it clean of those corals. And corals are incredibly slow growing animals. And they are also the longest lived animals on the planet. Now, hold on to your seats. They can live and still be alive at the ripe old age of 4,000 years and just be gone in the blink of an eye. So when it's not just that we're overfishing, it's that we're trashing the very ecosystem where these fish come from.